Ah, the hospital that I cannot pay for. Oh no, we're up to 32 now, that's something. Yeah, both of those are quite bad. In fact, I would say it'd be worth spending all on getting rid of those, I suppose. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. Patched up and ready to bleed again, ha. Huh. Well, at least you got a sense of humor about it. Reliable information brings accurate insight, after all. I guess you're right, yeah. Another fucking barricade. Low indeed to profit in destruction. Oh, and someone's got a fog horn out as well. Don't say shell shock around Barry. Never quite sure what, which is more more worth doing at the moment. I guess setting that up that is two hits potentially. Incremental, but deadly all the same. I'm actually going to keep playing, but get up and stretch my back, just because <laughs> it's being particularly fucky at the moment and it's distracting me. So, two seconds. Unexpected side effect of that is that I managed to f fucking yank the headphone cable out, which was not great. Um, it's worrying how many headphones I go through because of shit like that. Just accidentally stepping on the fucking cable. My fault for having a 20 foot long cable, but you know. I can't do wireless earphones for some reason. I think I've got too much other Bluetooth shit interfering with it. So everyone's a bit fuckled around, aren't they? Too much of a problem, but could be better. Yeah, let's get back where you back where you should be.
Hmm. Oh, so, right, I see. It was his turn anyway, so the days meant nothing. The days mean nothing? Yeah, tell me about it. Straightforward and effective. I mean, it was straightforward. Oh, God, you're everything, aren't you? Burning, bleeding, and everything. Let's sort one of them out at least. The smallest variable can make all the difference. I like that the music sort of shifts depending on that. It went into a little stripped back piano version. Oh, bread. Roadside bread. Roadside mold as well, but less good. Right, let's get a look at you. That's pretty much what we expected. Well, at least we know we're not missing any. Uh, behind us, I guess we'll never know. Right, now we just need to quickly defeat the boss of this area. Totally very easily doable. Might be a waste having Smokey on those. Um, Healing will probably be the most important. I do wonder about almost giving that to someone, but we don't have a... You're sort of not our straight healer, are you? You also damage. Nah. Okay, that might be the best we can get. The best a plan can get. Oh, for fuck's sake. The lost souls of a dying world. Why don't you just brick up the entire city? And humanity. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. No, nope, not a slow dissection. We're after a quick quick and messy dissection, please. Oh no, he stealthed himself. Now he can die quietly. Should finish him off. Lovely. I mean, this was a group of quite weak enemies, but I'm doing pretty good at this, like, rapid-fire execution. <laughs> when you really just go reckless abandon with it. It can work in your favour sometimes. Just not doing much in the way of healing, I suppose, are we? Cut 
down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. I keep trying, but my fucking trail is is fucked with barricades. Every which way I look. And somehow the loathing is super high as well. So we're going to get double fucked even if we do beat this boss. No, oh, I think it's a shit library to be honest. Oh god, and I forgot. Library burns. I forgot you don't even fight the boss straight away. Philosophy, reason, and insight. You have to deal with all these chuckle fucks first. But deadly all the same. A breakthrough. Test me once more and you'll regret it. No one's testing you, Barry. Except for maybe yourself, so... Well, that's 50 50 them. Can we phone a friend? No. I don't know what that would even look like in this game. My immediate thought was the old Streets of Rage. Press the, uh. I think it was the start button or something. No, it was A on the Mega Drive, I think. And you just, uh. Call the police. Who turn up with a bazooka and it's a total screen clear didn't think too much about it back when I was a kid it just seemed to make sense sure the police have a bazooka uh, they just carry around in the car why not oh timed is directed yeah but not necessarily on my part. Felt like the frame rate got mistimed there. Wonder if that will even show up on the recording. Sometimes little glitches like that do and sometimes they don't. I notice everyone's on fire. Probably not ideal, but then again, only la lasts till the end of the battle, so just kill them quicker and it might be alright. I think he's. F oh, yeah, he's definitely fucked. That's 10. Um, oh, that wouldn't be the heal that I'm after, but that might be. Oh, this won't have time to take effect, really, but oh well. Extinguished at last.
Round one, lots of fun. Round two, buckle my shoe. Malaise, measured and steady. Never quite sure what the sort of in-context idea is for him acceleranting himself. Is it something to do with all these pouches he has around him? Like, is he... I mean, everyone's on fire, but is he sort of... Is there some kind of combustion engine going on in there? I don't know. How did you dodge me shouting at you? How does that work? Actually, he might be the only one who can, because he does he doesn't seem to have ears. Also, narrator, please don't talk over me when I'm trying to do jokes. It's very rude. Fucking hell. That's a bit uncalled for. He was not moved by my pleas when I said please move. It's odd actually. When it's quiet enough, you can actually hear screaming in the in the distant audio. That's a fun little detail. Probably somebody on fire. The slow suffering begins. He's such a fucking chonker that even 12 blight damage doesn't do very much to him. For the fuck's sake. <laughs> Just moved him round to avoid that. Wow, that was a... That was a really loud scream in the back. Well, loud, but... You could tell it was loud, but it was very distant, is what they gave it the effect of. Presumably, I wonder if those were voice actors they got in, or if that's just the devs. <laughs> Take this microphone, go out into the car park and fucking scream like you're on fire and dying. Sure thing. This is for the game, right? Yeah. What did you think? What did you think it was going to be for? No, I just thought it was a Steady yourself. team building exercise. Sounds like that would be a lot of fun anyway. What the fuck? Foul my formation no longer. What the? Barry, Barry, you fucking maniac. I did not that what the fuck <laughs> they can they're just gonna hit each other now Barry you son of a bitch no wonder you got all those men killed fucking smacked her in the back as well with the mace the conflagration must be stopped the librarian must be destroyed Oh, I agree, but only if Barry can stop fucking beating up 
orphan girls for a second. <laughs> oh. Yes, I find the concept very funny. No, it's just... It's... Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect to be saying that today. Why is Barry beating up orphan girls? To make up for his bruised military ego. Or because they didn't give him the drugs quick enough. That's pointless, isn't it? You can't inflict burn on this guy. Smokescreen him every time, I think, is the port of call. We can possibly do this, though. Ish. Really? Three fucking turns? Okay. Best do this, I suppose, then. Selfish Barry uses it on himself. Gods know our knowledge of aqueduct engineering. Amongst other things. Oh no, Barry, the formation. God forbid the formation. I noticed you didn't start hitting anyone. Oh, God. It's even worse, isn't it? It's not just hitting orphan girls. It's, he's... <laughs> he's been put in a shit situation because anyone he hits is going to be a woman. So it's sort of, you know, optically that comes across a lot worse. Not that it's fine for anyone, but... We're, we're building a narrative here of Barry being a f just a... Just a domestic abuser, I suppose. I mean, I knew everyone in this game was kind of broken and fucked up, but... Yeah. Might be taking it a bit far. Collaboration confers advantage. You would think, wouldn't you? <laughs> Don't let Barry hear you say that. Okay, that was reasonable damage. Um, can I slow him down? He can be debuffed, so in theory. I don't like the lack of damage yet that we've got on him and I don't like that we're, I haven't been able to blight him yet or anything. Yep, no, not, 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 not a fan of this. Let's use that on you for once. Wow, just really shitting on the doctor there. Lenity. Grace. Oh, Small don't dodge it. You cunt. <sighs> Shit. That's gonna be the that's gonna be so annoying if we lose here and we don't even get the last fucking shrine. I shall be peeved, to say the least. point is to get rid of his dodge by well it did get rid of his dodge but and other such phrases I 
can't be that all these books are aqueduct engineering. Alright, how about now? That's a bit better. Very, very late. Oh, I don't know how worth it that damage is, but... Every little, every little yelp. God, I didn't even debuff him with that one. Great. Well, we can reach him now, and he can start doing that shit more frequently. Fuck, don't dodge it. You can't. He didn't dodge it, you just missed. Yeah, okay, fine. <sighs> no, we're not going to kill him. We're not going to... He needs to be way... Way more damaged than this by now. To be getting anywhere with it. Strength dwindles. No, it doesn't. The Fiend's strength is still over half. And the fucking Plague Doctor's blind. Uh. <laughs> you know what my actual thought there was? If this does fuck up and we don't even reach the last shrine, maybe I just won't upload this episode. <laughs> because nothing was gained. Barry's going to probably fucking die now on top of all this. Mm. Mm. Yep, we're at that stage. We're at the grunting noises stage. Stupendous indeed. But I don't give a fuck about Barry's resolve. My resolve is tested. Ah, oh, shit. I haven't even got people to heal him. Hopefully we can at least make sure this stuff hits him. Or misses us, maybe. Okay, great, 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 great. So even if we get through this now, it, it, we can't get the last of Barry's thing. Uh, I thought that would have been a really nice thing, just a whole, you know, I mean, this is several episodes, but a whole session, a Barry session, where we get to see Barry's whole story, but the fucking librarians. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to be drinking some absinthe after this, I think. You sure you weren't drinking it during? No. I mean, yes, I'm very sure. <laughs> Go on, dodge the next one, you fucking cunt. <sighs> Video games, relax. The mind. No point in healing now, we're all going to hell. Thrilling. Yeah, you know what's even more thrilling? When he gets to fucking heal now. You weren't a very good father figure to these ladies, were you, Barry? You abandoned them. You were, you were deadbeat dad. Emphasis on both the beat and the dead. You fucked it on all fronts. On the front line of battle, on the front line of your supposed family, to use your words. You have failed them all. Her time. 
Yep. <laughs> Boy fucking is it. Through adversity and affliction, the heart beats still. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. We will see them again. I am sure of it. The NHS alone survives. Um. Okay, well, I guess we'll get to see another Plague Doctor one, and that'll be it, because she'll fucking die right afterwards. Um, and we haven't got room for anything. Hey, you get to have this trinket now, so that's cool. None of that, none of that. None of that. None of that. Nama nama nat. Oh, that might have been why then. That she got... Well, no, because it didn't seem like she did dodge anything, but... When she was on death's door, but it might have, um... I can't remember if her last few attacks were crits or not, but... The loathing whispers. We must understand the past if we are ever to be free of it. Hmm, who shall I pick? I was just this... Yep, yeah, okay. Chapter 2. Head of the class. Easy to be the head of the class when you're the only one who survived. Oh god, it's interactive. Her professor was a relic. Hacking and wheezing his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. Okay, interesting. I'm so glad I renamed her the NHS again. It just makes this all the more weird. Disprove the professor. The professor's an anti-vaxxer. No, don't make it political, Steve. Don't. Just, there's no point. Just review your notes about lungs. But lungs, though, he says. What a buffoon. Heated rebuttal or review notes? You say lungs, but I say lungs. <laughs> he says sit down. Best I wait till his rambling is done. And someone gave me a derisive snicker. Snickers. Well, at least I can keep my energy up. That must be an offshoot. Derisive Snickers. So I have to wait till he like has a coughing fit or something? Conclusion. Intestines. Now the lesson truly begins. Um, actually... Lungs. Oh yeah, literally coughing fit. Okay. Also, that's a bit more than a coughing fit. You like... Chucked up a bunch of tar there. I don't. Are you human? What the hell? Is he. Why are we listening to this man and not getting him to a fucking ambulance? None of you are helping either. You. Well, you guys all have faces, and then everyone either there is either being very racially insensitive or wearing balaclavas. Lungs. Here he goes again. Anatomy, in general. Sure, well I will... Lungs. Intestines. I see your intestines. And I raise you. Lungs. Speaking of which, oh god, oh Jesus. 
Someone needed to raise his lungs. She delighted in the combative debate, and behind her bookish glasses, reveled in their outrage and confusion. Is that outrage and confusion at what she was saying, or outrage and confusion because the fucking professor died? I don't quite know, or was that meant to be symbolic? Oh well, we got the plague grenade now, which is a very good move. Very glad for that. Those Philistines earned my ire. Wow. Sassy fucker, aren't you? Um. Oh, see? This is where it gets tricky now to know. But it also doesn't fucking matter, Steve, does it? Because... Because you're about to die. A simple choice. At least it should be. It's no choice at all. Sure. I don't even know what we're doing, like, time-wise now. Like, how many episodes this is going to be. This is ran over massively. It doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. Four episodes, five episodes, this session's gone completely off the rails. And it was meant to be a triumphant comeback after the last one went completely off the rails. You want a heated debate? <laughs> this will be a heated debate. You can review all the notes here. Oh god, two fucking blobby monsters. Sure, if you somehow make it through this, you'll be the greatest character Darkest Dungeon has ever had. Look at that turn order. Just blobby after blobby after blobby. Fuck me. Okay, just immediately then, yeah. Yep. Can't even use any of my blight moves, which makes them all pointless. That was a good heal, though. Two. Yep, that'll do him. This is just tragic now. All flesh falls in the fullness of time. Wow, two. Oh, great. Okay, couldn't even take one of them down. Oh, well. You know, I ended up in a similar position on one of the practice runs where I was down to Vestal, I think, and she had only, like, back rank moves. And so I couldn't attack. Um, and so I just had to keep skipping my turn and getting hit. The problem was, um, after a while, skipping your turn heals you. Such as this. And so that kept happening, and then when her stress got completely maxed out, instead of melting down, she became resolute, which was a full heal. But it was pointless because I had no moves that could attack. <laughs> and it was like... I don't think the first game had you get stuck like that kind of thing. I think because there was always... Nothing can survive such a wholesale, organic failure. Well, I think I found the episode title. A little easier. 